Hi everyone, and today I would love to do something really relaxing, something beautiful, bring a little bit of the outside inside, and I'm going to do a gorgeous beach scene because we can't go to the beach, so I'm going to bring the beach to me. And I am going to be using these Arteza acrylic colours, and there are 14. And they used to look like this, they used to come in little pouches, and I thought these were great. Um, and then they've changed their formulas, they now come in tubes like this that we're kind of already used to seeing. The little flip down lid. And then all the information for each paint is there on the front. You've got the pigment numbers, you've got the level of transparency, and then the level of light fastness. And if you want to know what any of those means, I'll put this in the description box below for your information. So for today we're going to need a flat inch brush, a flat tipped brush, and a palette knife. And it doesn't really matter what size they are, it's um, dependent on how you, on your preference. So before we start anything, I have to do a little quick colour test for these two blues. There's a phthalo blue and an aquamarine, and I'm looking for a lovely sea blue. And usually when um, something contains the name marine, marine being the sea, I thought that it would be very sea-like. But when a colour is opaque, such as this, what you need to do is test it out with some white. And white gives you the true value of the colour. You only need a little, and you just mix the two and see which one you prefer best. So as I'm mixing these two, I can obviously tell that the uh, ultramarine for me is more of a sky colour and the phthalo blue is much nicer with the white. It's very rich in colour and that's going to suit me for my beach scene. I'm also just going to test it with a little bit of green just to see what it does and as you can see with the ultramarine it goes a little murky. It's not very nice. And when I mix it with the phthalo blue it goes sort of a teal colour which is really pretty. But at the end I've decided just to use phthalo blue and titanium white for the sea and then some lovely gold for the beach. I'm using gold just for a change. I could have made myself a kind of a sandy colour with um, a burnt umber and or a little bit of yellow ochre but I decided to just go for gold. Let's just bring a little uh, bling and a bit of pizzazz into this painting. So to start off with, it's quite simple, you need to use your flat brush and we're going to use a wet on wet technique, which I've used before. And this just simply means that you're swiping the brush back and forward and blending all those colours in until it gives you a gradient effect.
adding just a little shadows underneath each of the waves using my flat brush and I'm just going to do this right until I'm happy with it and it can take a while to get there where you get to the point where you say okay that's enough I'm stopping now but I eventually did and to seal this you could use some acrylic varnish and I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and it's been an inspiration to you and if you do create something like this um, please do tag me in Instagram on edna.fargan.art I will see you in my next tutorial and don't forget that on Fridays I will be back with my usual resin art and Tuesdays a little treat with some of my artworks.